The following program contains forbidden ancient knowledge. Those wishing to remain in ignorant bliss should turn back immediately. Who is he? Ha! He's the ultimate truth machine! Is he the ultimate truth uh-huh. machine? The better can split in three. Who is he? The ultimate truth machine. The better can split in three. Who is he? The ultimate truth machine. The better can split in three. For the love of God, would you just pick an outfit already? You know you can't rush beauty, baby. I didn't realize that ostentatious was now a synonym for beauty. I can hear you hating from over here. At least I don't wear the same outfit to every party that we go to. Oh, would you rather I dress up for the perfunctory social event where I'll stand in a corner drinking water while watching you hobnob with the Hollywood glitterati? It would be nice for a change, yes. Both of you could clean up so much nicer. What's wrong with what I'm wearing? I mean, it's fine if you want to be looking like Johnny Cashless. <laughs> Alright, how about this? You do your whole share Horowitz routine, and take your bike, and P and I will go now since we're already ready. <laughs> yeah, you guys are definitely already ready, alright. Ready, Freddy. You enjoying the party so far, B? I would rather drill a million tiny holes in my head every single day for the rest of my life than listen to another second of the white noise of this party. Look at us, we're fucking drinking water, having a great time. It appears there's a blue gentleman that is clamoring for your attention. Would you claim to be a wizard or something? I don't believe in magic, man. It's all bogus. It's like CGI. What if I could uh, prove to you that magic's real? I don't think you can prove anything. I think you're a phony. I mean, yeah, sure, magic's not real. Anyways, got your nose. What did you do? Where's my nose? Yeah, you should be able to touch your nose perfectly just fine right now. Go ahead, touch it. Should be right there. Bro, give me back my freaking nose! All right, I'll uh, I'll give you your nose back. Just say magic's real. Magic's real. Now give it back. Freaking weirdo. Look at us, P. We're making lifelong friends here. Look, fucking, he's he's killing it down there. They fucking are eating out of the palm of his hand. And she said, well, baby, you really are a grower. <laughs> I'll blue Tony and you card you. Ha 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 ha. Oh, it's the two guys that have been drinking all the water. Who's been saying that? Have you been saying that? We're not drinking all the water. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but... I apologize for my friend. She can be a little aggressive. I'm Jane, and this is Jean. I'm Maximalist. Plutonian Maximalist. But a dame as fair as you can call me Andrew. Oh, I know who you are. (laughs) I have something terrible to admit. I've never seen one of your movies. Well, I think that's something that you should rectify immediately. I know. Well, I don't know if you've ever been to the Palisades Drive-In, but I think they're doing a run all the way through Halloween almost every day, if I'm not mistaken. You should go sometime. I'm totally down. Actually, let me look real quick on my phone. Oh my god, there's actually a showing in a little over an hour. You want to go? Go with you? Yeah, all four of us could go. This party is a total bore anyways. Can we please get some food first? Oh, I know just the place. Johnny! 
did not know you were coming through. Get on in here and have a brewski. I can't stay and chat for long. I'm looking for the Plutonians. Are they here? You just missed him, man. He just left with some tail to get some grub. Well, where did they go? I think they went to what what? What? What is what what? You know what what? Dear God. I put on a hell of a show, hell of a show. Oh, yes, a fan of my show. I suppose you want an autograph. I put on a hell of a show, hell of a show, hell of a show. Hell of a show. What would it take for you to stop saying that? I put on a hell of a show, hell of a show, hell of a show. I only have a hundred on me. Do you have change? Welcome to What What Chicken Butt, home of the world's best vegan chicken and milkshake. What would you like to order? Hello there. I'm looking for the Plutonian Maximalist. I heard they were just in here. Sir, are you going to order something? I don't want to order. I want you to tell me, did you see them? Sir, are you going to order something? I don't want to order. I want you to tell me, did you see them? Maybe. Well, do you know where they went? I do. Don't you know who I am? I'm on TV. I don't own a television. What kind of mindless individual doesn't own a television? Where do you even watch things? Usually on my phone or laptop. No respect for the proper aspect ratios. All right, well, if I order food, will you tell me where they went? Possibly. Fine, then. I'll have a five-piece with... A sort of fries, and why the hell not a cookies and cream milkshake? We're out of cookies and cream. Uh, uh, God, God, I'll, I'll have a chocolate then. That will be twenty-five seventy-four. Good Christ, twenty-five dollars for fast food. This isn't fast food. This is fast casual. Are you just making things up now? This is definitely fast food. No, we're fast casual. Let me get this straight. I order the food at the cash register, yes? And it's delivered to me in a rapid manner, yes? Then it's fast food. What the bloody hell is the goddamn difference then? We have buzzers. Will that be cash or credit? I just gave that gentleman outside my last bill, so... Card. Processing, processing... Approved. Now, will you tell me where they went? They went to the drive-in up the street. <laughs> Wizard, I've been trying to track you down all night. A rather rude cashier at What What Chicken Butt informed me I might find you here. Well, here I am. Fast food at a $5 drive-in showing off one of your own abysmal films. This is lowly, even for you. You were supposed to contact me weeks ago with more detail on your little plan. I've been busy. I've heard. You and that little lover boy have been gallivanting all around town, sticking your dicks in anything with a pulse. I've been sticking my neck out for you with the birds. And you repay me by doing jack shit all summer chasing skirts? Almost all of our fraternal order already let him pick your bones dry. I'm not scared of him. You should be scared of him. He could make you disappear in a landfill in the heartbeat, never to be heard from again. I think it's high time you clued me in. Is the song almost ready? Or are you just a delusional maniac like everyone tells me? It's not so simple. We're still working out some kinks. Sounds like a lot of excuses. You've made a lot of bold promises. Now, I may think you suck at filmmaking and music, but my shaman told me to trust you and that your theories have some real merit to them. I want to believe in you. Some of the other birds may not mind this reality, but I can't take it anymore. You think I like living in this timeline where no one watches late-night television live anymore? I'm on my eighth wife! I get that you might not understand as someone who cut himself off after his first word south, but this shit gets expensive. Yes, I can imagine. Anyways, I guess you're right. I should be a little bit easier for you to get a hold of in the future, but if 
you don't mind. I have a date I need to get back to. She might just be wife number two. You better make sure of it. I always preferred to work alone. But that was almost never an option. Every year, I was saddled with a new dupe. They never lasted long. They weren't supposed to. What's my assignment? You are going to escort your new partner to and from his performances. Make sure he doesn't get into too much trouble. That's it? Well, he's uh, a bit of a jokester. Play nice. I could already tell that he was less of a jokester and more of a total clown. In fact, he was a fool. Terribly dressed, bad haircut. I could already tell this was going to be the most difficult assignment yet. Just the sight of him made me sigh. Brash, cocky arrogance exuding from every pore of his baby-faced body. I wasn't going to like this one bit. His early performances were embarrassing at best. But yet, the audience didn't seem to mind his hackery. Did you know that a greater percentage of people 18 to 25 will vote in the next election? Then women will come from penetration in the next year? It's scary, and there is nothing being done about it. That is why I'm going to be the change I can believe in. That's right. I'm starting my own pussy-eating team. A pussy-eating team of America. Or PETA. I don't know, man. It just... It's been tough. I feel like these women just don't take me seriously. Why would they take you seriously? You dress like a clown and tell pussy jokes. I mean, yeah, both of those things are technically true, but I got some depth to me, man. Maybe not quite like you, you know? You're like one of those fish that survives at the bottom of the ocean that never sees direct sunlight for 20,000 years. Fucking weird teeth and shit. What do you think I should do? Some sort of makeover. Makeover? Huh. Yeah, get a haircut. Dress a little bit more sensibly. Maybe not as bright. Garish. Definitely some new shoes. Definitely some new shoes. What's wrong with the shoes? You know what's wrong with the shoes. <laughs> it worked better than I ever thought it would. He began killing. Mushrooms are the greatest drug on the face of the planet. They are. They help me feel in touch with the universe. See what I have in common with my fellow man, which I think we need now more than ever because this country is as divided as it's ever been. The person that is the opposite of you has way more in common with you than you realize. You just can't see it because we have blinders on. You know, I'm a white man. The opposite of me in this country is a black woman. A lot of people think we have nothing in common, and that is not true. White men and black women both love starting small businesses, talking over people, and getting really mad when we see a black man with a white woman. God damn, God damn. <laughs> Holy shit. And for a little while, all was right in his world. But then, he thought he fell in love with a beautiful woman. Little did he know she had been placing spells on him for months. At first, it all seemed so perfect. All he did was eat, sleep, fuck, and watch all of his favorite things. Hey, man, she, uh, she asked me to move in with her. What? It's only been two weeks. Are you kidding me? I mean, come on, man. You know, we're fucking in love. 
you're in love, you're 23 years old and she's in her early 30s. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. I mean, come on, man. It's it's fucking true, pure love. What do you, what more do you want from me? This is what we've been searching for, man. This is not what we've been searching for. We've been searching for universal truth. But love is the universal truth, man. Don't you get it? That is what the fucking... That's what we're doing, man. I urge you to err on the side of caution. He did not err on the side of caution. Soon after this, they ran away and got married in secret. And that very night, she showed him her true face. She showed him who really controlled her. Every day after that, she became more dangerous than the last. She began mentally and physically torturing him, and any time he tried to escape came the dire threats. A man that was once searching for the keys of the universe was no longer thinking about that at all. All he was looking for was a way out. And all I was was a person that stood idly by and watched it happen. I was a man who did nothing. So, what's it like being the star of a movie? You know it's impolite to talk during a movie. We're in a car. No one can hear us. Yes, but I can hear you. Okay. Wait, so are you actually married? What? Oh. But yeah. you're divorced now, right? No, no, I'm I'm not. So you're still married? No, I'm not still married. Well, what happened then? I don't... I think you should just watch the movie. It kind of explains the whole thing. But I want to know now. Tell me, tell me, tell me! I don't want to wait the whole movie. I mean, you really want to know? She's dead. Oh. Uh. Johnny, you bird motherfucker, you. Hello, Dino. Where is Joe? He's in the back with all the other Z-listers. Right. I'm just fucking with you. My jokes are always flying over your stupid fucking head. Sorry to keep you waiting, old friend. It's fine. There's a close game on. Were you able to track down the wizard? Yes. And what's the situation? I think he might just man up after all. So those treacherous birds are colluding with the Plutonians. I ought to have them killed! But that would be rather rash now, wouldn't it, my sweet? Perhaps a slower burning, more painful punishment is in order. First, I'll destroy their careers. And then, I'll leave their feathered huss in the city square for all to gawk at. Ugh. This all leaves a very foul taste in my mouth. Computer! Milkshake! Ah, much better. Now I need something to watch to take my mind off of all of this betrayal. Television! Something extra trashy. Great. Uh, kind of a bust and a half. How about you? Does it even matter? No, actually, it, it doesn't really at all, now that you're, you're bringing it up. Oh, how L's night went? Oh, I think he's knee-deep right now. Ah, uh, Plutonian, don't stop. I guess we're all knee-deep in something. You know, the reason why I actually came down to talk to you is because there's been a lot of people in my ear. You know, you, Johnny, this two-headed robot that keeps appearing in my dreams. 
two-headed robot? Yeah, it looks like if you and L had a threesome with C-3PO or some shit. I don't. It's not the point. The point is, is I'm ready to pump the brakes on all of the social engagements. Just me and you, we're a team right now. All right. Let's fucking find everything that we've been talking about. That's excellent news. Almost a cause for a celebration. You celebrating? That will be the day. Yes, that will certainly be the day. Anyways, starting tomorrow, buddy, let's do it. You and me. But tonight I am drained, so I think I'm going to hit the hay. You don't stay up too late. Excuse me? (laughs) All right, let me rephrase that. Don't stay up too late for you. All right. Anyways, buddy, I love you. Good night. I love you too, Andrew. I came looking for you this time. Hello, Andrew. Nice to be talking to you face to face. Would be nice in the light of day, but... That would be unwise. This is the only place where he is unable to monitor our communication. So, we meet in the subconscious. Precisely. Who are you? Don't Don't you know, know, Andrew? We're We're your your teachers. teachers. We've been been the the ones sending you all of your messages. All of your warnings. All. I thought I got my mission from God. You still have so much to learn. Maybe that I do. So now tell me, what do you need me to do? Plutonian Max List will return in. Nothing good happens after midnight. Different Plutonian time, same Plutonian channels. Timish Family Pictures.